Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Group 3 and we would like to present an article Sports and Urban Development and Introduction by Geoff Dixon. So before we start, let us introduce ourselves first. My name is Nur Husnina Binti Sayuti. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Adar Shazri Binti Sharizan. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Zuleika Binti Samsudin. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Izul Hakim bin Izul Kifli. First and foremost, what is urban development? Urban development is the deliberation and comprehensive attempt to influence the conditions of urban life. Urban development occurs by expansion into unpopulated areas and renovation of decaying regions. So, in today's presentation, we are going to see how sports are actually helping urbanization. Without further ado, I'm going to pass the floor to the next member. The main issue that has been stated in the article is about the relationship between the sports and urban development. Sports and urban development are both contentious and subjective ideas. Plus, to identify a balanced approach to sports and urban development that considers that need all the residents, acknowledging that sports contribution to the urban development can easily favour the urban elite. When it comes to sports, we all know that that the biggest sports event is Olympic because it involves a lot of people and involves a big amount of the budget. So. It, obvi uh, it shows that obvi obviously people are waiting for the Olympic and the article mentioned that the rising study interest in Olympic stadium findings and sustainability reflects an increase in research article in research article in the nexus between sports and urban development. This is because when the particular country is assigned as home for the Olympics, they need to ensure that the, all the events are well organized. So in order to be in that way, they need to have a stable financial and also good governance in the country. The Olympic is the big event that we grab everyone's attention. So it needs to be a powerful and memorable event for everyone. So uh, it, uh, it, the legacy is the subject that is mentioned in the article and Olympics Olympic sports stadiums are the venue for the sports and for non-sport also for the tourism activities. Moreover, it's more important to emphasize that transportation is also one of the major themes in the urban development. The AC by Tiago Ribeiro and Victor focus on the perceived transportation legacy of the Rio Olympics. In 2016, the Olympic Games in Rio necessitate a large invest investment to the public transportation. The studies the study's main finding was the following the game's local residents' evaluation of Rio's public transportation system were, were lower in terms of planning, security, and also urban mobility. So, many individuals believe that urban urbanization has a significant impact on the environment and has accelerated climate change. Urbanization and climate change are often regarded as impediments to long-term growth. Arif and Hakan investigate that elements of the Turkish sports stadiums that are sustainable. They created a, a tool which is a sustainable stadium assessment tool to accomplish this kind of this kind of achievement. So, uh, unfortunately. The majority of the stadiums in Turkey has been deemed to be insufficient in terms of environmental sustainability. They made an excellent point that is pertinent to many of other pieces in this special issue. The link between stadiums, urban growth and sustainability begins with the construction of the stadium and end with successful stadium use and management. So that's that is for the issue that has been mentioned in the article. Thank you so much and I'll pass to the next presenter. Next, we go to the theory that relates to the issue. The urban sociology theory that we choose is by Louis Wolf, 1897 until 1952. The main focus is on urbanism, urban lifestyle more than on structure. This theory can be related to the issues because it focuses on urban lifestyle, urbanism but at the same time is also 
emphasize the transformation of modern style and better economy. Further, Louis Worth also believed that the development of institutions and bureaucracy created an impersonal, cemented and superficial lifestyle which will lead to the personal and communities breakdown. Hence, spot is an ideal context to examine how the community perceive the utilities and potential of spots to create the smart city with the establishment or uh, link between the sport facilities, sport events and local economic development, quality of life influenced by sport, management and utilization of natural resources. Moreover, Louis Wolf also believed that size, density and heterogeneity in the city will create a urban way of life as it afforded a great deal of personal freedom and mobility. Hence, sports and urban development also substantially transform from a more focus of event operations to gradually added pillars of economic, cultural and environmental impacts to the contemporary focus on the community development. For example, city leaders such as US, China and Japan dash on hosting major sports events in their country in order to help them revitalize the economic and build their own legacy. Besides, after the events, they can develop all the facilities and the community can reuse all the facilities and infrastructure that they built during the major sports events. Therefore, there is a significant relationship between Louis Worth theory with sports and urban development as collaborations between sports and urban development will help to advance both sports and cities deep into 21st centuries and bring better and good urbanism, urban lifestyle more than on structure. So, that's it from me and I will pass the floor to the next presenter. Thank you. Thank you, Zuleika. Next, we proceed to the impacts of sports and urban development. The first impact is boosting the local economy. By analyzing the stadium project in Durban, South Africa, Minik and Duplessis argue that hosting a mega sports event requires a proper sports environment. So, there will be a new facilities and infrastructure development in order to organize it. Thus, it will have a positive effect on urban development. Furi and Santana Gallego demonstrate that mega sporting event increased predicted tourism by approximately 8% in the same year on average. As visitors spend money on food, transportation, accommodation and entertainment in the host country, the induced demand will boost the local economy and this situation referred as direct economy impact. We can say that the environment of economic globalization and capital internalization large scale sports events have become an increasingly important catalyst for city development and have injected new incentives into the development of cities. Furthermore, the impact of sports and urban development is enriching the quality of life for local residents. The development of sports city definitely will get a great coverage from local and international media. With that, the extensive media exposure can attract foreign investment and international trade for an extended period of time. Such benefits may include the enhancements of the stock of human capital, management expertise, and the health, of, and the health condition of citizens. We can see that the development of Spot City will transform communities to a new level of life. That's all from me. Thank you. I will pass to the next presenter. In conclusion, the values that we could learn from this article is that sports can be considered as important to develop urbanization in the region. Uh, we could see how the unfamous region back then, like Malmo, Sweden, being labeled as skateboard city. To conclude that sports and urban development have a significant relationship to each other. And with that, we have come to the end of our presentation. Thank you so much. And now we are open for Q&A session.